TYT has got a new audio network, guys, and you're gonna love it. We got our existing shows, but on top of that, we've got a whole new slate of shows coming out that are in podcast form, including the Jimmy Dore Show. So now nobody does comedy like Jimmy. He is super aggressive and sometimes harsh and often irreverent, but he's gonna give it to you like he sees it. There's no question about that. So you're gonna love this podcast. He's gonna have some of the top comedians and comedy writers on there. So if you wanna check that out along with the entire audio network, go to tyt.com slash audio. All right, this is a story that uh, TYT investigates uh, uh, discovered. It's uh, brought to you by Ken Klippenstein. Uh, it's a small little story, it's about uh, the immigration situation, but this one is not about kids, it's about dogs. But the comparison is <sighs> uncomfortable. Uh, so let me go to the story. Instead of space blankets, dogs, uh, and of course you remember the kids that are being separated from their family or the ones that came in unaccompanied are getting some space blankets and sleeping on the floor, some of them are. So Ken explains, instead of space blankets, dogs in the custody of Customs and Border Protection, a division of Department of Homeland Security will be treated to quote, plush double-sided sheepskin bedding at the Peninsula Pet Resort in California, sounds lovely, according to federal procurement records reviewed by TYT. So more details on how the dogs are treated as opposed to humans. The dogs will sleep indoors in the resort's 177 separate doggy suites which feature frequent maid service and clean bedding every day, as well as raised kennel decking, according to Peninsula Pet Resorts website. Now, am I happy that the dogs are being treated well? Great, um, but God, I wish we treated the kids as well. Um, so now more from the website of this company that's uh, taking care of the dogs uh, for Customs and Borders Protection. They declare on their uh, website, quote, most importantly, we provide loving care. Now, again, normal, I get it, I understand it, I'm glad that they're treating the dogs well. Uh, but it is a stark juxtaposition to the stories we hear about how the children are not allowed to be held by anyone. So if they are crying, they cannot console them. Uh, and their parents are not there, those are adults, and I understand why they have that rule. But they do not get loving care. Uh, there's a report that we broke of, of American Airlines flight attendants saying that they're, the people transporting uh, the kids would not allow them to eat the food while, they ate, while the people doing the transporting ate the food right next to them. Uh, they wouldn't allow them uh, to watch the entertainment. Uh, they wouldn't allow them to interact with anyone or to look anyone in the eye. So the dogs get love and care, but the humans not so much. So as uh, Klippenstein points out, by contrast, CBP reportedly has made undocumented detainees sleep in freezing cold cells on concrete floors without mats. President Trump has referred to undocumented immigrants as, quote, animals. Uh, and then finally, the one that really actually uh, got to me uh, was this part. Another advantage that the dogs may have over detained children is outdoor playtime. Although detention centers reportedly permit children to play outside for two hours each day, Peninsula Pet Resort allows its guests, which are dogs, up to four hours of outdoor playtime daily. The kids are not supposed to be prisoners and they're not animals. <sighs> Let them outside, <laughs> two hours outside, there's no reason for it. I get it that you can't let them leave, I understand that. But, and, and it's not a matter of whether we allow them to stay in the country or not. The question is how humanely do we treat them when they're in the country temporarily? Yes, we can allow them to go outside within confined area for more than two hours a day. We can let the dogs do it, why can't we let the kids do it? Oh man, it's heartbreaking that we're uh, treating some animals better than we treat those kids in those detention centers. You know, a lot of times there's talk about how when authoritarian governments go to dehumanize people, they compare them to animals, which Trump did. They talk about how 
they carry disease and they infest a, a country and, and Trump did all of those. But a lot of people in America love their dogs, of course, which is a great thing. And so they view the dogs as innocent. That's true and, and that's a great thing. But we've got Republican congressmen on TV saying, well, are those really innocent kids? And were the parents really innocent? Maybe it's terrorists trying to smuggle in kids or MS-13 trying to smuggle themselves in by having the kids with no evidence at all. So the idea is they're guilty, they're guilty, they're guilty. So to them, maybe it does make more sense to treat the dogs more humanely than they treat actual human beings. They think, well, the dogs are innocent. I don't know about those five-year-old kids though. Two easy ways to follow Young Turks. One is hit the subscribe button down below, uh, then you're a TYT subscriber. And second is ring the bell. And when you do that on YouTube, you're notified of our videos.